Hiya and welcome to the video. So another video and in this one I'm going to talk about light pollution filters. So I've seen quite a few videos recently about people using light pollution filters and I wanted to try it out for myself. So um, a little bit about light pollution filters. Uh, I'm going to read it off the back of this. This is the one that I ended up buying by the way. Uh, some Hoyer one that I got from Amazon. And what light pollution filters are supposed to do apparently is a filter cuts light transmission in the area of the spectrum that is usually associated with light pollution from sodium and mercury vapor lights. So basically what it's saying is it's supposed to cut out the light that uh, street lamps and things like that produce. So I, I'm skeptical but we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to go out tonight, I'm going to stick this on. Unfortunately I couldn't get one for my wide angle lens, I could only get one for my 28mm f2 which is what I'm shooting this on now. Well sorry, I could get one for my 14mm Samyang, but it would have cost a fortune and I just thought, I don't trust that this is going to really work so I'm not going to spend a fortune on one. So I got this one for like 40 quid off Amazon. So we'll, we'll go out tonight, we'll give it a try and uh, yeah we'll see, we'll see whether I'm going to keep it or not. So let's go. Right, so hopefully that looked quite good just then. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm here in this location at this viaduct, try not to fall over and um, get stuck in all of this um, really, really waterlogged ground. We've had shitloads of rain recently and storms. Um, so, right, so what I'm doing, all of the clips I'm shooting on auto white balance with the filter on, all the video clips. And then what I'm going to do for the photos is take one, um, I'm going to put them both, yeah, when I shoot it, I'm going to put them into uh, the same. Um, white balance so sunny or something like that put it into thin white balance take one shot with the filter on take one shot with the filter off and we'll see what the difference is so as you can probably see it is crazy light polluted i've got my iso down at like 600 because there's so much light pollution so i'm interested to see how this performs let's carry on First thing I am noticing is that I'm really struggling for composition and I'm so used to shooting on the 14 mil all the time that I'm really struggling shooting with a 28. Uh, probably should have bought the other filter. So from the back of the camera, the only real difference I can see is that it's blue when you put the filter on. But I'll have to get back and see what the photos look like to actually get a real judgment of it. But I'll keep having a little look around, see if I can find anything better. Right, I'm freezing, I'm covered in shit. I'm really unhappy with all the compositions. Um, can't really find anything. And I'm getting bored of having to screw this filter on and off. So I'm just gonna call it quits now. We'll go have a look at the shots. Shit me. Let's stick those photos into the computer and let's have a go through. I'll do some screen recording and we'll check the before and afters of each of the shots. 
Okay, let's start from the start then. Well, um, straight away you can tell that the image that does not have the filter is warmer than the image that does not have the filter. This one now has the filter, same thing again. You can tell that it's slightly darker and also that it's slightly cooler. And I think that's pretty much a theme throughout all of these, as you can see as I'm flicking through. All that it's actually really doing is making the um, photos slightly bluer and then also making them darker. So I could tell that it was taking out 0.7 of a stop of light, if that makes sense, out of each of the shots. So yeah, all I can really say is that it's, it's making it a little bit darker and making it bluer, which you can get rid of in imaging in the software anyway. So I don't think I'm really sold. I'm just flicking through them now so you can see what you think. I mean, yeah, it's pretty consistent across the board really. And like I said, I've shot them all in the same white balance, uh, the exact same settings for each, which is why you can see one is darker than the other one. You can see up in the top right here that I'm ISO 1000, 28mm, f2 and 10 seconds. And I'm just keeping it the same for each. And yeah, it's really consistent to be honest. Um, I, I don't know whether it's just like placebo or not, I'm not sure, but you can see that it is dulling down some of the light pollution, but that is probably because it's taken almost to stop a light out, which would also dull down the light pollution. So uh, difficult, difficult. See what you think. So what do I think of it overall? Um, overall, it, it, interesting, definitely interesting. I think it really is just cutting down some of the light that's entering the camera. So, and also putting a color cast on it. So whether it's really doing much in terms of removing light pollution that you couldn't just do yourself in software or in camera by dropping the exposure or by removing the height, I don't know. Um, whether I think it's worth it or not, I don't really know. I don't think it is worth it. Like I, it's not something that I'm gonna use every single time. And actually, as I said, I really struggled shooting on my 28 mil for my Astro. I just need a wider shot for my Astro. But what I'm really interested in is I want to see what the Milky Way looks like. So I'm hoping that the, the next clip that you see after this one will be me going and shooting the Milky Way and I get to test the Astro filter on that. But if not, the, this will be the end of the video. So fingers crossed I get the chance to shoot the Milky Way with it. Okay, so I am here at Tanhill Inn, the highest pub in England, one of my favorite places to shoot the Milky Way and we're lucky we've got a clear sky so let's test out this filter for the Milky Way for the final time. Well there we go, it was looking good on the back of the camera I think but we'll have to wait till we get back to see the final verdict. Right, so this will actually be the final roundup this time, I promise. Um, shot with it last night, shot the Milky Way for the first time. What do I think? I like the images. Um, I actually dropped a bollock and I got the focus wrong on the, on the 28 mil. So I'm focused on me rather than focusing on the Milky Way. So you can see the Milky Way is out of focus. I don't necessarily mind it. I could pretend that that's what I meant to do. It wasn't. Um, so I liked the images. Uh, there's too much light pollution there um, anyway and the filter didn't cut that light pollution out obviously but yeah I like the images you can see obviously with the before uh, sorry with the filter on and with the filter off you can see the difference again shot them both with the same uh, white balance which was cloudy uh, the cloudy profile on this camera and um, yeah after the edit the only difference you can see in the edited ones is where I photoshopped myself in and I photoshopped myself in the wrong place and that's really the only difference. They look pretty much the same to me, to be perfectly honest. So um, I've decided that I'm not keeping the filter. It's not for me. Um, it's not bad, but I just, it's not something that I'm gonna use, but I don't really shoot on my 28 for Astro very often anyway. Although I did like the results. I like seeing more of the Milky Way. 
core, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, so well, I'd be interested in what your thoughts are on it after this. So if you wanna drop your comments down below, whether you use the filters, uh, whether you think that uh, this one I should have kept it, whether you think it was worth it, whether you could tell any difference or not, or whether you think it's a load of old bollocks, then um, yeah, I'd be really interested to hear if you wanna post something down below. So that's it, I'm gonna cut this one off now, it's getting long enough, so I really do appreciate watching and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Take care.